Hi, Jemima. Hi, Trini. I was so surprised that we haven't done this as a closet confession. I can't believe it. So only mixings on the rail, yet they all have something in common. They have a friend that matches. Oh. We're doing cohorts. <laughs> Let's see what you're wearing. Now, I'm wearing Serena View, which is my classic cohort, but I have so many here, and everywhere now does a cohort. She's the queen of cohorts. She does the most beautiful ones. They are expensive. They're silk. They're divine. I love them. They have wide legs, narrow legs, every kind of leg you can imagine. I have them in many, many, many colors like this. So that's my Serena Butte summer ones. Wow. And this is some printed blouses, but then I'll have in there, you know, my kind of cohort from Zimmerman and stuff. I got that, do you remember, with the trousers from India? It's sort of a cohort, it's a matching top and bottom. And cohorts can also be skirts and tops. Oh. Because if you notice in this little cupboard, which you, which I never really show you, but come on in, the Zara cohort of the lilac, skirt and tops, this one of Rosita Getty of the skirt and top. So I'll do that next time because okay. I realize that's built up to quite a lot. But this week, we're talking about trousers and tops. Okay, and um, why should you buy a cohort? I think cohorts are good for a number of reasons. First of all, they make one piece, five outfits. All right, not four, five. Because you can wear the trousers with a t-shirt. You can wear them as one piece. You can wear the top by itself. You can wear the top in different ways. You can wear the top as a jacket over a t-shirt with a pair of jeans. You can wear the top open as a jacket with nothing underneath but a camisole with the trousers. So it's just, if you're going away and you want to do packing that will spread out to be different outfits, cohorts are incredible for that. And who should be buying a cohort? I think both long-bodied and short-bodied, long-legged and short-legged, tall and petite, and what I say is there's some brands that do very long-legged things like Serena Butte does and some that do the sort of average which would be Zara when they do cohorts mm. funnily enough whereas when they do jeans they're really long when they do cohorts I wear them all with a very flat trainer which I know means because I have a very short leg long body very good also if you are long bodied and short legged meaning that your torso from your neck to your crutch is the same length as your crutch to your trousers because then it's like a jumpsuit so I'm going to show you if you don't to jumpsuit because it's always giving you a cheese grater, then a cohort becomes the jumpsuit. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show interstitial with this. Well, just so some things, some, some outfits that I've loved that I live in a lot, but Serena Beauty is one of them. They're very airy, the legs, and I wear them with a really steep trainer because they're quite long, and I always feel so in proportion. I love that. And the colours are always brightening. Like the, one of the best colours for me is this blue. As soon as I put that on, you know, it's, you can get so many different colours and cords. And there are classic navy cords and black cords and sequin cords. But it's where I always find colour. Like at the moment, Zara has a pink one, a green one, a multicoloured one. And do you find them quite easy to wear because they are block colours? You could just throw it on and know you'll look fab. Yes, but I have a few print cords here, and I'm going to show you how much I love them too. I think I love them the most packing because they take no room up and I can wear them winter or summer and I can put a jumper over them if it's cold or I can wear them open tied up you know like this one I can wear like this or if I'm sort of wanting to be on the beach and cool I can just undo the buttons which I do occasionally do and then I can just get that I can tie that here you know like that I can put on some little cuffs you know I could put on some earrings and it goes from being one kind of outfit to another there's the cuffs going on <laughs> like that and then I can have some you know mad fab earrings and it just becomes something for evening this is so versatile yeah, very quickly very quickly yeah and All chic right. when you travel so easy when you travel I love them love them okay should we try some more on yeah some of you might recognize this because we did a tea tones do you remember and we had a print and I made some fabric from the print and if you have a cord or anything that you think the shape is great get it copied so Essie Zana made this from my original cohort I think it's the first cohort I ever bought maybe I bought one Serena Beauty by Vanessa Seward who's French that's actually with a scarf that I wear it with. I thought that shape is unusual because there's a femininity. Most cohorts mm. have quite a masculine shirt shape, but this has that really pretty sort of Aussie Clark 70s little puff sleeve. I tuck a bit in. The trousers are really floppy. It's incredibly comfortable. Another thing you can consider doing with shirts that are really square is literally making the seam higher. So you could tuck in all of the front and just keep the back out mm. like that. I mean, that shows how much you love cohorts that you've had one made. I know, it's it does. It's very 
right? Yeah, and it just, sometimes we go and try and find something the same or we can never find something the same and that's when I think it's worth the investment to get something made. If you love, love, love it and it's become a classic and I know cohorts from each of mine, a classic in my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So this is something I'll always wear. And for women who have never worn a cohort before, yeah. this is obviously quite a bold print. How would you suggest breaking yourself into wearing a cohort? I'd say sometimes a print's easier. It's more if you're very masculine or feminine. If you're very feminine, cohorts can seem quite masculine because they're a mm. shirt. So by wearing a print cohort, it feels more feminine. And would you just say, just wear it? Don't wear it just with jeans. I know you can, but yeah. would you just say wear the whole thing? For sure. You, I mean, if you buy a cohort, co the, the most you must wear it is as a whole thing. And then I can wear this with a white t-shirt at the top, I'll show you, or a pair of jeans. But I did a Valentina yes. lip because it's quite bright. So I want to have even brighter makeup so that it kind of, the whole thing balances out. Yeah. Love that lip. Yeah. This is about how sometimes you can think that cohorts look like pajamas or can you make pajamas cohorts? I'm going to show you both. So when you see something in a mixed print like this, you might think this is like a pajama. You know, it has a feeling of being like a pajama, mm -hmm. but it's not a pajama. It's a cohort from And Other Stories. So how do I wear it so it feels better? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so either I just wear a kind of sandal and I pull up literally like I'm Alan Partridge, like that. <laughs> it's like the Simon okay, Cowell. I know, I put up that, tuck in the collar, and I'm gonna put some necklaces on. Because adding jewelry makes you think this is not any more a pair of pajamas, because you wouldn't really wear jewelry with pajamas. Oh, I like that neckline you've just done. I know, the neckline's good. So tuck in the collar. Just tuck in the collar. So tucking in the collar changes things. So now it's slightly cropped. Yeah. It's like I'm wearing that and I'm going out and I could be going sightseeing. Let's put a little hat on like that. Cool. And then I've got a sightseeing bag and I'm thinking a white cross body, so Lutz Morris. And then it's just a nice sort of sightseeing look. I'm going to Florence, I want to be floppy and I want to have color on my face. I got a little bit of a mixture of Maiko and Dido to bring those sort of lovely peachy tones together. Really? And I feel incredibly comfortable and not tucking things in sometimes is the way we want to go. Yeah, what's the rule on the half tuck? Because you've done it for the others. I have. The thing is, because I've done Alan Partridge wearing high trousers, <laughs> I don't really want to show that. So no. if I want to wear something cropped, then if the shirt's long enough, I'll make them so that I can wear them with a sandal. Because it wouldn't look good to wear a big, heavy sandal with the trousers if they were like that. I see. Do you see, you need that little bit of the crop for the sandal to look cool if you like the heavy sandal. Oh, yeah. And I love the heavy sandal. And then the sandal works. Okay, have you ever actually worn pyjamas out as a cohort? I so have, and I can show you. Pyjamas. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to make them not pyjamas. They are pyjamas. Now I'm kind of like very comfortable. It's linen. I got a little high heel on Robert Clergerie. I've got a little crossbody bag on. I've pushed up the sleeve, which made it pajamery, put on some earrings, put on a really nice strong lip. Do you have a shoulder pad on? I have a shoulder pad on. Oh. But now I just feel I could do this bag or I could do a clutch, but I quite like that bag. Me too. Yeah. And the waistband is the one Asuzana altered, isn't it? It's a waistband, so she made it flatter. Yes. Do you see? And there you have that kind of, you can still see the pyjama. I could do up the pyjama just to keep that like a little, it looks like a little short no, underneath. I could do a cool. bag that's a tiny bit longer. I'm thinking the bag should be the same length. You know how mm -hmm. we have that thing about the bag? Yeah. So otherwise I could also do, which might be actually cool with a heel. I always like oh, that sort yeah. of Sex and City clutch. Yeah. Like maybe a clutch is better. I like that. You know, with the earring and the lip, you feel the clutch is more evening-ish. What lip is it? Sweeney. Nice. I see what you mean about the crop trouser as well. Yeah. And then I can wear a little heel with it. But that I would just wear in the evening when it's really hot somebody, but you want somewhere, but you want to cover your arms. Yeah. Linen is very cool. It will get creased, but I just feel elegant. I don't feel anyone's going to say I've got pajamas on. I think they're going to kind of like. Yeah. Hi. So how did you know that you would make that into a cohort? Like what do pajamas need to have? I mean, the thing is some pajamas have elasticated waist and some cohorts do too. It's about the print. This is a real pajama print. So this is about styling it. I think anything can be styled from one location to another. So from the bedroom to a cocktail bar or to the beach, I think you can do it. Mm -hmm. You have to have the confidence to do it. You have to put on makeup because in bed we don't wear heavy makeup. So putting on a strong lip immediately sort of deceives the eye that you're somewhere else. Putting earrings on, you never wear earrings to bed. So you remove from the person that sense that this could be pajama. Yeah. And do you mainly wear them on holiday? Like I would wear this to the office. 
you know, just, just like, imagine that because I want to be comfortable. There are some days I really want to be comfortable. Coming out of COVID, we want comfort, but we need fun with the comfort. Otherwise, mm. it becomes too slouchy and not trying. So and the lip and the earrings and the bag and the and the uh, the shoes bring that sort of sophistication. It's cooler than sweatpants. Yes. Okay, next. So for makeup for this one, I'm just going to put on a little bit of Dawn because I want that soft shimmer like that. So easy to do just to echo the sequin, but it's a summery makeup look. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of Katie sheer shimmer on my lips and on my cheeks just to give a mixture of bronzing and blushing and contouring all in one. Katie's very good for that. And if you're feeling or the bronze look you want with a little bit of glow, put it on the forehead too. And it just brings you all into that summer, summer loving. I didn't know this came as a co-ord. This did not. So this oh. is when co-ords <laughs> become a co-ord because the fabric is used consistently through the high street. Topshop trousers. And this is a Zara top, and I bought them different years, and I can wear them as one piece to be smarter, or I could wear this with white t-shirt and this with a pair of jeans. That's so true that if you don't suit jumpsuits, you can make them. You can make them. You can actually make them. What I also wear it with, which I really like just for when you're doing sort of glamorous party, is I'll take a nice blazer in a summer party to have that full sequin, and this could be that moment where you think, is it a jumpsuit? Yeah. But it's just a flow of shimmer. I love the little pink here because it breaks breaks up that. And I know yeah. they were from Topshop. Yeah, from Topshop, I know. And this is before Topshop. Otherwise, with that little pink there, so I have a really old pink jacket. Yeah. And I'm just seeing oh, how that might look too. Which is love kind that. of pretty, huh? Yeah. yeah. I love the white as well. I mean, it's a it's a toss up between yeah. both of them. I don't, there's something I like about the softness of the pink with it and the little pink there because I feel the whole thing now has become one huge cold. <laughs> you never think baby pink and sequins, do you? You don't. And we did it for something, Jemima. I can't remember what it was for. And the other thing you can do if you really want to be a full enchilada, and let's see if Massimo Duty is going to work with that. I don't know, but you know, sometimes when you've got it all on, get more on <laughs> and think, would it work? Very cool. You know? And can we see the shoes? The shoes are silver. Okay. Treasury. You know me, I'll do that, but I think the contrast to white was maybe a little less yeah. than necessary this much. But you know, I, from the side view, I actually love that. Really cool. But from the front, I don't. I want something that goes in and gives more shape to my body, which the jacket would do just wearing it over the shoulders. Cool. Would you do a bag? Not with that. Let me okay. just go back to plan A. But if I did a bag, I'm sort of looking at that as a sort of chic bag. This I found in my cupboard when Lila was looking through it. It's oh, like yeah. a 25 year old Prada bag. It isn't a pop of color though. It's just that sort of subtle chic. Um, so that's one thing, but you're right, okay. No, I shouldn't go there. I wouldn't do black with it because it's a, do you see that's, there's champagne yeah. and gold and you've now made me have to search out the perfect bag. Well, if you did the white blazer, could you do a white bag? I could, yes. You know what we could do is, what has Lila stolen recently? <laughs> I mean, she has a Prada pink bag. Excuse me, which she stole from me, which she stole from me, and even no, but look. Okay, that's right. Really, I mean, you know, that's perfect. that actually is a bag I never thought to wear, and I was never going to wear. And years ago, they sent it to me, and look, it has a friend inside. Oh. It's like the alien, the jaws open, you have another set of jaws, and it has a strap, and it has TW inside it. That is definitely yours, though. I should wear this pink bag. I mean, it's been gathering dust by Lila Elishoff. Lila, if you're happening to be watching this at school, I'm gonna make it cross body and get it all ready. Hold on, because I'm excited now that I have a pink bag. I well, love wearing bags at the back of it as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like slightly, it gives you that kind of, yeah. you know, especially if you're straight up and down, to wear a bag where it hugs under your boob and pushes in any excess fabric, it gives that shape to you when sometimes you might be wearing something that's a bit square. This is not the right thing to show it on. But we've done a lot on Chloe yeah. on Friday Twinning and it just gives the volume a place to just be quiet for a second. Yeah, and yeah. this neckline, who would it suit? You know, I always felt that halter necks, only for people with small boobs. And when you wear a halter neck top and the distance between the halter neck and the waist is a short bit of fabric, 
then if your boobs are very big, you can become a uni boob. Mm -hmm. But the other day, Chloe and I, who has a really fabulous chest, we wore a me and M dress, a halter neck dress. And because it was just a sort of trapeze in shape, mm. she loved the freedom it gave her. And I think women should never be scared to show their arms. It's always like, if your arms are of a certain size, you should do this. Or, and I've let go of every bloody rule of that, which I years ago thought, do this, change that. And I think it's how clothes make you feel. I would say it is more flattering for a much curvier woman to wear a halter neck dress than maybe a short top, especially if she's got long legs and a short body. I see. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's perfect. So I found a new bag. Yay, Yay Lila! <laughs> Here's two of my favorite cohorts. This is Zimmerman, and I'm gonna put another Zimmerman on, and, but this is how they look on. Leopard on leopard. I'm not wearing a bra, so it's a bit see-through, so I'm gonna cover it up quickly. I either wear it with this really great Zara coat which it's such a good length and i love the fact that the leopard goes with the color of the zimmerman it's incredibly comfortable and that's how i normally wear it now i could wear it belted as well just to be a bit different and that just brings another texture of leopard in there but i'm very comfortable with that double texture and this one do you remember i changed the buttons and how different it made it let's have a look at that that's actually how i'm gonna wear it can you get me a silver bag darling because i feel this is where we want now bloody hell it's got a gold button these buttons should be silver when you think of snake skin i always think of wearing it with silver not with gold and do you see that just wasn't working so i didn't wear it so change buttons on things you never wear where the buttons put you off before i show you this one i want to put a kind of color on which is going to be afric yes i want a color which is brownie but has some color in it and when i never know what to do i do afric and it works a dream it's a sheer shimmer so i'm just going to show you on like that and it has the the yellowness of this top but this color makes eyes pop and then i put it on the cheek and then i'll put the last bit actually on the eye as well like that and don't worry don't worry carla it's all now going to be rubbed in and blended but it gives you this beautiful bronze look afric and sheer shimmers I love on the eyes when you just need to do a very quick makeup. Do you remember I did this on Friday the 20th? Yes. So I it. thought it needs some earrings and I want to show it differently. So I can do a few ways. The first thing I can do is just put on an earring and keep it as a sort of summertime look. But what I love about that, which is a Zara earring, the pattern of the earring has a similarity in size and shape to the suit. It does. Yeah? Yeah, that's cool. So that, I, I, I love it that way. And I could do just a gold bag. Or I could do a raffia bag, actually. I don't know if I did that with printing or not, but I just think the raffia looks great. So just like that, different way to wear it. Yeah. But then maybe it's winter. Okay, how would you winterize? Well, I found something, and this is not a normal jacket, but what I loved about this is sometimes with a cord, a cutaway coat mm. is my favorite way to wear a cord. And this is from Kinder, you always ask me where it's from, but it's like, instead of a coat being like that, yeah. you know, it has this cutawayness. So you see that fabric, you see that it's one piece, but you're given the waist with the jacket. I wanted to wear this and then it's got warm and I'm really, like, really pissed off and mm. I hope I remember for next year. Yeah. I feel so good in that. I love the navy stripe coming through with the blue. It's beautiful with the neck detail as well. Yeah. You could kind of emulate that with a scarf, couldn't you? You could so do that. So good. So, you know, we really need to think about, I know we didn't show you the close-up details of earrings before, but that's the reason I don't throw away earrings. And I collect a whole mixture of earrings and some that aren't very expensive and some that are, because you always think, wow. We can go through years where we think earrings aren't relevant. And I'm going through a phase of earrings are so relevant, which I feel a few of you are, because you watched the last two closet conventions with the earrings. And if you haven't watched them for inspiration, but, but that's made the outfit. You know, because without, I mean, it's still nice without, mm. but you know, that gave it that final little bit of polish. Especially with your hair tucked yeah. away. So for this one, I'm just going to do a wash of some Hikati, just to have that little shimmer on the eye, like that. Then I'm thinking, what lip do I do? I'll do a bit of Katinka. Let's try Katinka mixed up with something else. I don't know what, I'm mixing everything on a brush now, but it could be an interesting colour. Mm, it could be nice. This is Katinka mixed with Valentina. I quite like that actually. Now this is an H&M cord that we had, I think we did it for a twinning, but I haven't really worn it much since. And then I did on a closet pressure age ago show how I'm gonna layer it. So I'm gonna show you again because we can't find the film. But it's just that it's it's slightly ankle crop, but it makes my legs look short. The waist is high and I'm feeling I need to not show you how low my crutch is mm -hmm. because my legs are really short, yeah? And then not show you how long my body looks. And it's gold, isn't it? Because it looks a bit silvery on this. Yeah, it's but... gold. Gold! Da, da, da. I'm nearly there, but this is a bit boxy because I've put the shoulder pads on underneath. And I realise that there is that little internal 
half um, hem. So I actually think, very unlike me, that having the black there at the top makes a relationship of the black and the black and the black. You see, so this little detail of black here, 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 and here, which I kind of then like. And then I might even do a black bag. Hmm. I might do a black crossbody and just see then, does that bring it together even more? Because it has a little bit of gold in it. Then I like that there. And I think it's now turned into something totally different from how we first saw it. I'm not sure about this neck thing. You're not sure about the neck? But I think it's because I'm not used to seeing you in it. I know, because I never had black near yeah. my face. Which do you prefer? I kind of like something to do with the yeah. back here. I think it's cool, actually. I feel the lip might be wrong, and maybe I need to go not such dark red. Maybe mm. this is a winter lip. I like the earrings, though. Yeah, I need to change the lip. Now we have how I like to do black near my neckline, which is with a really smoky eye and a sort of pinkier lip makes such a difference. Yeah. It just feels cooler. I think I can't do a red lip with black and gold. I feel Agreed. like a Christmas tree. To end, Trini, can we please see your latest co-ord purchase? Here it is. So this is my latest one. And um, I don't know if I will keep it. I'm just going to say I've bought it, but I just got it. And I love the shirt, but the trousers are not my favourite shape because I like them going over the trainer. I just mm -hmm. have to think about it. So I've got to think about it and whether I keep it. But the colour, it's like that thing when you're so in love with something. And I thought I don't have this colour pink, which is that classic bubblegum pink. But I'm just going to take it off and think about it. Take a picture now. Take a picture now for me. Should we sit down here and see yes. what we're going to do for the next one? Okay. <laughs> so you might have thrown in some more cohorts as well that really look have. good. I'm at a crossroads because I don't know what to do next. But I do know one thing I'm going to do next is why everyone should have a white dress. Yeah, the ladies are asking. Oh, they are? Okay, yeah. good. Because I've got, I realise if Molly and I do a search in the house, quite a few white dresses. And for some people that might be cream, ecru, but it's that sort of crisp or floaty. It's that summer dress that's beach to bar and beyond. So how can we have... I love I, the sound of that. No, it is. And it's beyond. really Yes, and beyond. I'm going to show you also a few things I bought recently on eBay. Is Balmorant £800 dresses for 80 I've got a few bargains. After that, it's going to be June, and we're thinking yeah. about summer, and I still haven't done how do you make your wardrobe feel ageless, and I think I'm just going to do it on my normal outfits of the day, moving in the next few weeks, just to show you things that I'm making my new summer uniform. Yeah, yeah? and all these tips and tricks, we just learn as we go, so exactly. I think that's super helpful. And then sunglasses, I mean, boring, but I've got quite a lot. I think we should do those. Belts, we could do yep. for summer. Revisit. Like summer belts and how they change outfits. Because we did belts before, but I just went through my belt collection as opposed to showing things. Yeah. That, and I could do that a bit with white dresses. Maybe some remember. rings as well. Rings, we could do rings. I just love Beachwear. Yeah. Beachwear. Beachwear. I just went through all my bikinis. Can I just show you also what I could do is summer scarves? Because look, I just tidied this up. So look. Oh my gosh. So satisfying. And then I did, I went through every single bikini and I thought, why do I wear them? Where did I get them? Why did they suit me? We could do, do we ever do bikinis? Yeah, we did. We did but but this is my now. new, this could be my new moment of going through that. So lots of ideas. Yes, so you come up with the ideas and we will prepare. We will. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.